Alright, with practice and mental preparation, this tutorial will teach you how to do hand hops. Alright, before you get started, I recommend warming up and stretching out. I recommend at least warming up for 10 minutes. I specifically recommend warming up the wrists and the shoulders because we'll be putting a lot of pressure on these joints when practicing hand hops. Some active warm up ideas are wrist circles, arm circles, this yoga pose here, but I also recommend warming up the rest of the body too to furthermore prevent injury. If you would like, you can check out my video on a complete full body stretching routine. Now an ideal prerequisite for hand hops is the simple handstand. This will help you with strength, stability, and give you confidence so you can safely practice this move. Be sure to check out my complete handstand tutorial if you do not have handstands. When you get down handstands, I recommend changing up your leg position. Bring them out wide, bring them in, maybe bring them into your chest to get the feeling of your legs moving over your head while you're standing on your hands. Because when doing hand hops, your legs will be moving over your head. Alright, now what we want to do is get the feeling for the hop. In the regular handstand position, you want to contract your legs, tighten a little bit at the hips, and then when you hop, you explode with your legs up and thrust your hips a little bit forward. Bring the force through your body connected through the shoulders to the ground. Push off through the ground with your hands, and then be ready to catch yourself as you come back down. When you come back down, keep strong, keep tight, contract the legs back, absorb the shock with everything, and then try to reburst back up into another hop. This will get you the feeling of doing multiple hops and trying to maintain balance. Keep in mind that your hand placement might need to change slightly each time to shift your center of balance when doing multiple hops. With that in mind, I'd like to move on to the next step. As you might have noticed from practicing, hopping on two hands is a lot different than trying to hop on one. When you're hopping on two hands, the center of balance is going straight down the midline of your body, okay? So you're spreading 50-50 out between each hand is a little bit different than when you jump to just one hand. When you're on just one hand, the center of balance goes diagonally through the body and then goes down to the ground. So this is why the next step I would recommend trying to balance on one hand just for a few seconds or less, just so you can understand where the center of balance is on the hand. You do not need to be able to hold a one-handed handstand for very long because when doing hops, you'll be shifting your center of balance around. And it, in my opinion, it's a lot easier to balance doing hand hops than it is to do a one-handed handstand. Something to keep in mind when going to one hand is you want to keep your arm pushed out. Don't bend it but don't lock it out. Keep your muscles flexed and tight and controlled. Have your shoulders super controlled and pushed out. Don't relax your muscles and joints. Keep them pushed out so they stay strong and stable. Okay, now for hopping on one hand. You can choose to go in this from two hands and then jump to one hand, shifting the center of balance like I said before. Or you can go straight in if you're going to choose to just go straight into one hand, start close to the ground and be ready to use your other arm to help stop you if you fall, like so. Choose whatever feels more comfortable for you. Keep in mind you want to use the other arm not only to help stop you if you fall, but also for balance. Now when most people do hand hops, you'll notice that their legs are crunched and they pop from the hips. So to counteract this, you have your body slightly backwards so that when your legs are slightly forward, it counteracts it and the center of balance is right down the middle. So at the end of the day, the key is keeping that center of balance down through the arm to the ground. It doesn't really matter how your form is, you can have it however you want, create your own style. It's just ideal to keep the center of balance going through your arm to the ground. Especially when beginning, keeping that center of balance in one spot is going to be really hard. So each hop is another chance to get that hand back into the center of balance. Keeping yourself up, keeping yourself doing multiple hops. So every hop, you may need to jump and move your arm to the new balance point. It is also ideal to look at the hand that is hopping. Your center of balance tends to stay where you look. So by looking at your hand, you'll continue keeping in balance. 
as you may notice from this angle you see nothing but my booty not because I like it that way but because my center of balance is directly through my left cheek over my hand into the ground so taking a closer look at the hop on one hand the hop is pretty much the same as the hop on two hands you're gonna be popping basically from the hips and the legs but utilizing the whole body for stability and support Keep the shoulder nice, tight, pushed out. Don't bend the elbow, but keep your arm muscles stable and strong. You can also use your fingers to grip the ground, creating greater surface area, spreading out the force, and improving your balance. Also, some nice advice for doing multiple hand hops is, immediately when your legs come back to their contracting position, you want to begin your next hop to improve the maximum amount of force and conserve the most amount of energy. Because if you pause during a hand hop, it's a lot harder to get it started again. It's a lot easier to continue a fluid motion of hops than it is to pause between each hop. Now remember, just like any move, this is going to take practice, so don't get discouraged. Keep practicing and believe in yourself. Be sure to check out my hand hop progression video and you can watch my progress over six months from when I started them and then so on. I hope this tutorial helps you guys out. Thanks for watching everybody. Peace and don't forget to subscribe to Pygmy. You'll make me very happy. <laughs> Thanks.